Good morning, everybody. Hey, it is September 21st. It's a Monday. And I just got to say, I had one of the best weekends I've had in a long time. Uh, I spent from Friday night at 7.30 until Sunday night at about 8 o'clock. 400 people who had come to Plano, Texas to be a part of the uh, Watchman's Trumpet September Solemn Assembly event. Um, which was literally, and I do mean literally, a dream come true. I got to, I was honored and humbled at so many people who showed up and also the people online. But I got to hear people pray for 48 hours. I got to hear people just express their passion to pray. And uh, man, it was so, it was just so cool. There's a lot of other words I'm sure I could use, but to be in that, in that, to be among leaders and pastors who have had incredible experiences and incredible incredible backgrounds. I was honored and humbled to be a part of, of those that did it. I want to, I want to publicly just say thank you to Stan Johnson and his wife Leslie, uh, Prophecy Club and uh, WatchmansTrumpet dot com for taking care of the, for uh, for overseeing this this event, making it come to pass. And uh, wow, wow! To those that were there that that spoke with me, I prayed with, or you prayed with me. Thank you so much for being a part of that. And uh, I believe that we saw some things change in the country. I mean, I, there were some giants that fell this last weekend. I know a lot of pastors can use language like that. A lot of Christians do. But I'm telling you, there was there was war in the heavenlies this week, this weekend. And here's so many people praying for our president, praying for our country to uh, get through this was, was just wonderful. So if you were a part of the Watchman's Trumpet September Solemn Assembly event, thank you for being a part. And uh, they're we're gonna, they're going to be working to make a few more of these happen, even before the election, and uh, we'll keep you in touch. But nonetheless, today we start praying about the great harvest. We have prayed for a stronger backbone of the church, and we've prayed about corruption being revealed in so many many ways. But today we start praying for the church and for the great harvest. And the focus of the prayer to things this morning is that there would be a stronger anointing in the pulpits, so that we can have a great harvest. So I want you to pray for your pastors to uh, not just have the anointing, but to have the willingness and the courage to say what needs to be said, because that will also bring a greater uh, physical and uh, spiritual sense of the anointing. Uh, pray your pastors will have a passion they never had before, and that they will step up and do everything God's called them to do. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for what happened here in Texas. Lord, thank you for the people that were praying this weekend. Thank you for the people who cried out to you for this nation, for our president, for our country, God. Lord, for those that have, have such a passion for who you are and what you want to do. And Lord, I know they were here because they wanted to see the nation saved and spared. Because God, your, your word says, your word says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Humble themselves, turn from the wicked ways, and confess our sins. So, God, we did that this weekend, both as individuals as a nation. So, we do that right now, God. We we ask for your 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 forgiveness, Lord, for where we've not been, when we've been too silent. We ask for your forgiveness, Lord, upon our nation who has gone who has gone so rogue against your authority, against your word. And I pray that you would anoint pastors, that they would there would be a greater anointing of the pulpits. For, for, for to reach the loss that we've ever had before. And Lord, that we're going to have a Billy Graham compassion for the loss like we've never had before. And Lord, we're going to see people for who they are, lost and going to a very, very real and genuine place known as hell. God, give us a heart for those that are so far away from you, for those that have just been walking away from you for years and never knew it. Lord, those who have just drifted, those who have just shifted, those who have just, who have just fallen asleep because of absolute lack of regard for the word. Lord, for those that have sat in our churches for decades and not done anything to step towards you. Lord, for those that have listened for 40 to 50 years and have never accepted you. God, I pray you shake them and you wake them up and may the anointing in the pulpits be what, what, what starts some of that and God may get a hold of people may get a hold of people may get a hold of people and may pastors in the pulpits from this from, from this time on forward Lord may we walk in the anointing may we preach in the anointing may we declare and herald and, and, and speak the truth 
in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That is, I'm just going to pray, Lord, for a greater anointing than we've ever had before, because that's going to break the yoke. So break that yoke around us, Lord. Break that yoke around us and help us to be able to, to follow you, to go where you want us to go. Show us the path to lead, to, to walk on. Show us the, show us the, tra the trail to lead. Because God, is, as the pastor goes, so, so the church goes. So God, touch the hearts of those that have been weary and timid to say anything that might be controversial, might offend those in their church. God, I pray you unleash the fire of God and the, and the anointing of God in the pastors who have heard your cry, have heard, have heard, who have heard the heart of God and will step forth and do exactly what you've called them to do. So Lord, that's my prayer today. My prayer, Lord, that you would send a greater anointing on your pastors. In Jesus' name. You know, this, this weekend, I got to meet somebody who was beaten for being a Christian in Pakistan. I heard some incredible testimonies from people. I met someone who was actually sold into the trafficking arena. And yet now, she and her she and the man she's married to have a ministry of deliverance. I got to meet people who were so in love with Jesus that all they wanted to do was make a difference. I hope that's your prayer today. Thank you for praying with me. I'm, I'm, I've had a lot of people say, hey, why don't we do this every day through the end of the year? And I'm looking at that. I'm figuring some things out. I'm, I'm going to do something today I need, or not today, but tomorrow. I'm going to be establishing my own YouTube channel. And here's the reason. A lot of people take the videos that I have without any permission whatsoever. I put them on their sites, ask questions or, or whatever, but they just do it without asking me. Uh, I want to have a little bit more control of what goes on because some of those videos have been added to, taken away from, and uh, so those things kind of bother me. But I want to make sure that there's one channel where people can find all the dreams, uh, all the prayer things, all the stuff that's going on, and uh, you know, I'm 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 trying to carefully watch my steps, make sure that I do what God's coming to do, and don't veer off track. Um, I do continue to have dreams. I had, I had, I shared a new one um, last night at Watchman Trumpet. It's a short one, and I'll, I'll have it on here. Uh, right now, I'm I'm still in you know in the Dallas area, and I've got a lot to do to get home. But uh, thank you all for your prayers for me. Thank you for your support and your encouragement. Um, I am still in a lot of uncharted territory. Never been here before. I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. I have a church of Linwood Ministries in Burksville, Kentucky, that I'm going back to, and uh, and they're trying to figure it out too. Um, Jonathan Kahn actually sent a video to me and to the church and made the statement to my, the body of Christ at my church that you know, God, God gave me some dreams to share with the nation. And he entrusted, those, he entrusted those to me. But he also entrusted the church where he had put me as a pastor. He trusted them. And uh, so thank you for... The love, thank you for the positive comments. Thank you for reaching out. Uh, I can't tell how many people, at least, at least 150 people told me, told me this weekend, saw in person, shook my hand, gave me a hug, and said, praying for you and your family. Man, that was just, it makes it all worth it. So, uh, thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day in the Lord.